Walk into any home improvement store and you're immediately confronted with a space and industry built for one certain demographic, men. The size of a brick. The weight of cement bags. The grip size of power tools. They're all designed for the male body, said Aaron Carter, co-founder of Frailty Myths, an organization that provides workshops centered on leadership, diversity, equity and inclusion. Carter and her team have set out to help make women and members of the LGBTQ community feel comfortable and accepted in these male-centered spaces, particularly through woodworking workshops. It's Pride Month, read all of USA Today's 2022 Pride coverage here in one of Frailty Myths classes on picking supplies at Home Depot. Attendees are walked through how to respond when employees or other customers question their judgment because of their gender presentation. Carter and her co-founder, Georgia Fay Hursty, said this workshop and others help dispel the assumption that woodworking is just for men. There is nothing about woodworking that is inherently masculine, and if you identify as feminine and you are woodworking, then that's feminine, Hursty told US. Women and gender non-conforming people have always been woodworkers, their work has just been minimized and called different names throughout history said Deirdre Visser, author of Joinery, Joyce and Gender, A History of Woodworking for the 21st Century. Two people can be doing the exact same. Shifts in gender equity and growing visibility for the LGBTQ community has increased accessibility for diverse artisans, Visser said. Michigan-based wood art and furniture maker Megan Shannon said she's often felt she needed to prove herself as a lesbian woman in woodworking because of her gender. It's really hard to connect with people in any kind of trade like this when you instantly feel like you're inferior to them just because. Many women and LGBTQ woodworkers have now found a visible community on social media like TikTok which gives artists and workers a space to connect with other queer woodworkers and customers around the world. A scroll through hashtag queer woodworker or hashtag woodworker on the app shows time-lapse videos of creators cutting and sanding their pieces, as well as users reenacting sexist interactions they've had because of their gender, such as men in hardware stores assuming they don't know what materials they need at. Catherine Sullivan is a classically trained cabinet maker based near Dallas whose work includes custom furniture building, repair and restoration. Sullivan has found support for her work and instructional videos on TikTok from other LGBTQ creators.